hello guys welcome to my channel i've been talking about starting a youtube channel for quite some time now i put this up on my social media platform asking you guys to send in questions on things you'd like to know about me and my career and some of you actually did send in questions thank you for that before we get right into it i'd like to introduce myself my name is Everdo happiness choma i am a graduate of computer science from the university of nigeria in Sukka. Yes, I am practicing what I study. So let's get right into it. Question number one says, what do you do? Well, I am a business slash technical analyst, a business automation engineer, and a software quality assurance consultant for a software development company. I know some of you might be wondering, this is a lot, how do you manage them? Well, my career started, I started off my career in 2015 and up until October 2018, I've been doing this as a collective. But from um, October 2000, from November 2018 till date, I decided to separate them as individual entity. What I mean by I've been doing them as a collective means that as a business automation engineer, it is my job to it is my job to conduct the business analysis, it is my job to implement the software, it is also my job to conduct the software quality assurance. But from November 2018 till now, like I said, I decided to separate them as individual entity, meaning that I have projects I work on as a business analyst. I have projects I work on as um, a software quality assurance officer. But for all my business automation projects, I'm always the business analyst, the implementer, as well as the software quality assurance officer. And yes, I also train. <laughs> I also go ahead to train the customers as well. That's supposed to be a different entity because I conduct training independently. So yes, that is what I do. Question number two says, what is your role as a technical slash business analyst? Well, as a technical slash business analyst for a software development um, organization, I act more like a mediator between the software developers and the clients. So it is my job to go um, to the customers, sit down with them. I use what is called interview method most times. I sit down with, with, that, with them, I interview them, I get to understand their business processes, a day in the life scenario of what they do. Then for every finding is then documented. So I provide what is called um, a requirements documentation. This document contains all my findings from my um, requirements gathering. So after documenting this, I also go ahead to conduct a requirements elicitation. So this is the, this is where I gather the software developers and the customer. So the software developers have the opportunity here now to ask questions, to seek clarifications on something that they might have seen in the requirements documents and they don't understand. So this is opportunity for them to ask those questions and get their answers so that is my job as a business or a technical analyst for a software development company question number three says what are your roles as a business automation engineer well as a business automation engineer it is my job to automate company business processes yes i automate company business processes so what this entails is that i go to the customers i sit down with them that's doing the job of a business analyst i sit down with them i get to understand their business process i get to understand what they do on a daily basis i understand the pain points in the organization and i go ahead to document this so after this is documented this is what i use in implementing the um, software this is what i use in automating their processes so after this is automated i also go ahead to conduct what is called a software quality assurance for um the for the um processes or for all the workflows i have implemented i go ahead to conduct the software quality assurance for that before um, conducting a uat with the client so the essence of this or the aim of the uat is to ensure that 
the client tests every functionality and accepts that yes what you've implemented is what they actually ask for so there's a sign off if your client doesn't sign off it simply means that you need to do a better job once you've implemented it's not what they want but once you get a sign off simply means that you've given your clients what they want so your clients can go ahead and make payments so yes the uat determines if your company is going to be paid or not question number four says what is your role as a software quality assurance officer well as a software quality assurance officer i i've touched this a little while talking about my role as a business analyst as a software quality assurance officer it is my job to write test cases test procedures so most times i do this using the requirement documents because for some projects i might not be the business analyst that's someone who has gone to gather this requirement i might just be the software quality assurance officer like i explained earlier so it is my job to write test cases test procedures these are the procedures that are going to be used in testing the software that is being implemented so every item on the list has to pass so every requirement that the client has given you is contained in that test script and everything has to pass because if it doesn't pass it simply means that what you're implementing is not what your client requires of you so it is my job to also find out bugs in case there are issues it's my job to find them and report them to the software developers so that corrections or changes can be made and for every phase for every phase of um release that's for every phase of the release of the software i have to conduct a test i have to conduct what is called a regression test so all the ones i have tested before i need to retest them for every time there is a new release i have to do a regression test that's from beginning up until what has been implemented for every time a release is made so that is my job as a software quality assurance of that and i have to find the bug because if you don't find the bug or if you don't find the problem and your client finds it it is a problem so you have to ensure that you find all the bugs yes we always have problem with the software developers on this area but guys no hard feeling <laughs> it is just my job to find the bugs to ensure that what is being developed actually meets the client's requirements so i find the bugs i report the bugs the bugs are being corrected and i go ahead to test it again to ensure that what the software developer says has been corrected or has been implemented has actually been corrected or implemented so for every phase of um, the project release be it for every function i have tested before and a new functionality is released i have to retest the function i tested before and then the new functionality that has been added so yes that is my job as a software quality assurance engineer question number five says who are your customers well my customers ranges from both public private and small businesses so it could be it could be a real estate organization it could be a software development company it could be a, the health sector it could be something as small as a saloon who just simply want to implement an appointment scheduling software so yes my clients can be anybody who have dealing with either businesses or direct with customers so yes those are my customers question number six says what is your channel about well, I've put this up on my um, social media platform before. Instagram to be specific. The link is down below. So here I explain that the, the reason for this my channel is um, to train anyone who is interested in learning how to implement a CRM software. So if you want to learn how to implement a CRM software, if you want to learn how to use a CRM software, it could be that your organization has implemented one and you don't know how to use it you just simply want to learn how to use a crm software my channel is for you and for organizations who are wondering if they need a crm solution my channel is also for you because i'll be talking about the importance of crm software and organizations that need a crm software so if you're thinking about implementing a crm software for your organization but you don't know how to go about it my channel is also for you and for those who wish to learn it, 
we will be going down to the minute detail down to the very beginning so i'm going to be sharing with you what you need in order for you to be able to implement a crm software and no you don't need to have studied computer science for you to be able to implement a crm solution no no matter what you studied in school so long as you have the interest to learn how to implement a crm software you can do it you can learn it it doesn't just apply to it inclined to then probably people that have gone to t training institute or those who studied um, computer science in their um, degree you don't need to have done that irrespective of what you study you can learn how to implement a crm software so stay with me question number seven says who are your target audience well, like I said earlier, my target audience are anyone who wishes to learn how to implement a CRM software, anyone who simply wants to learn how to use it, or organizations who are wondering if they need a CRM software. My channel is for you. You are at the right place. So subscribe if you haven't done so and turn on the post notification so you don't miss any posts from me. I'll try to post every other week. So give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Bye. See you in my next video.